Welcome to the Permaculture Education Institute's Open Day. I'm really delighted that you took the opportunity to come in and, and have a chat. Essentially in this session, what I would love to share with you is what it is that goes on here in the Permaculture Education Institute, what it is that, that we do, what are the courses and programs that we have, how you can get involved, and also how you can join any of our programs that are currently on offer, and also all of the programming that happens, programming and events that we've got going on. Let me begin by acknowledging that I'm seated here on the unceded lands of the Gunakurnai people in the south eastern part of Australia. Uh, normally, I'm actually in Gubby Gubby country in a place called Crystal Waters Permaculture Village. This is the headquarters, I should say, of the Permaculture Education Institute. Those of us who run the Permaculture Education Institute live and breathe permaculture and have been doing so for decades now. And it's this love and experience in living permaculture, teaching permaculture, practicing permaculture around the world that has led us to design and develop the programs that we have and, and offer them in a way that can be shared out far and wide. I also spend a lot of time learning from ancient regenerative cultures and particularly the cultures that are deeply embedded in and around the place where I live. This is uh, one of the elders who I spend a lot of time with, Wurunga, who very generously shares with me a lot of knowledge and looks at how we can integrate permaculture in Indigenous cultures and shares with me sort of like an ancient permaculture way, as he calls it. I was also deeply inspired too by living and working in various traditional cultures around the world and recognising that actually we need to be exploring a different way of living, particularly in the West, like how are we to live sustainably, how are we to remember what it means to be truly human in a way that is living a one-planet way of life. And so since 1992, I've had the great honour and pleasure to be teaching in 22 countries and also to travel and visit many different permaculture and eco-village projects, community garden projects, local food projects, everything from home gardens, large-scale farms, universities, schools, all different kinds of permaculture projects. And so it's with that inspiration of seeing what's going on around the world that I immerse these knowledge and understanding into creating living learning centers and these online learning programs that I'm going to share with you today. So, and I think this is a really important part actually of what the Permaculture Education Institute is about. It's recognizing the importance of creating these places where people can come and see, taste, touch, feel, experience what it means to live this one planet way of life, this permacultural way of life. That's why we're focused on teaching permaculture teachers and also focusing on how we can design these beautiful educational landscapes that can help to open up the doors of possibility. So the Permaculture Education Institute is particularly focused on teaching permaculture teachers, but I hope as we go through you'll see that there's there's a lot of other things that underpin that knowledge and sharing of experience too. We're essentially an ecology of organisations as well. So we have the Permaculture Education Institute, which hosts the courses and the, the research and the outreach. We also have the Ethos Foundation, which is a registered charity. And soon we always offer free online events, but we always offer the opportunity to donate as well. And this we send 100% to programs. And I'll share a bit about that in a minute. And we have a lot of other programs too, such as the Perma Youth Program, the Ethos Fellowship Program, Our Permaculture Life. So all of these work in together as a, as a woven integrated whole. This is some of the key programs, and I'm going to walk you through a number of these different ones. We have everything from the educators program to separate design programs, teach programs, gardening programs, youth programs, and business programs too. So this is the the QR code, or you can just type in the Permaculture Education Institute and you'll find all of the links to all of our work there. But I want to start by opening up a little bit more about what the Permaculture Educators Program is about, because this is our core program that we run and it's open 
all the time for you to register in and it's got people who are participating from six continents. So within the Permaculture Educators Program, we've woven together the two core certificates that underpin being an educator. At the foundation is the Permaculture Design Certificate course, which is the foundational course for permaculture around the world. So that is the heart of our program. And then woven around that we and integrated through it is our permaculture teacher certificate. Some people have done permaculture design certificates before and then they come and join our course. And what you're doing when you're focusing on becoming a teacher, you actually go through the permaculture design course thinking about, oh, how might I teach all those different elements? Or if you just start and you think, oh gosh, I'd actually really like to make a shift and become a permaculture educator, but I'm starting from scratch, you can also do that. In designing this course, the two certificates run side by side. By the time you finish the course, you have designed your place or a place of your choice. It could be a school, a workplace, your home, your farm, wherever you'd like it to be in an absolutely deep and holistic way. So you come out with a plan, like a really substantial plan. You also come out with a substantial plan of how to run a permaculture education program that fits with your experience who the people you want to work with and in the place in which you're working. And then added on to that as well, we also have a number of business modules because one of the things that I've realised over the time is that if someone wants to make a livelihood out of this but yet maybe not have come from a business background, these are really essentially valuable tools to making a livelihood, whether it be a full-time one or a part-time one. The other thing too is people often maybe not making an entire shift, but what they do is actually apply this as a lens to what they're doing already. As I said, it's people who are members from six continents. So it's a wonderfully global community. And we learn from people from all different cultures and backgrounds and get lots of insight. So we have a a learning community, which is kind of like a hive mind to, to tap into. And also we have global content too. I've designed the program to be entirely super flexible because as a mother and as a person who has a busy life too, I understand how important it is to have something you can weave through, put down, pick up, you know, take a break, come back to. So we can start any time in this program and you have lifetime access to the content and lifetime access to the community. So it's not like you're going to run out of time. It's not like you're going to have to be hurried through it. Inside the course, this is just like a little snapshot, there is 44 modules and each of those modules relates to a different dimension of what permaculture is, permaculture design, the social permaculture side, the financial permaculture, the permaculture education, the business of permaculture, and you'll find a multimedia set of content that is sometimes it's a bit of text, it's videos, it's images, um, drawings, case studies, lots of links. You know, sometimes people get to a point in the course and say, oh, Marek, I spent about seven weeks on the soil subject because I just went off in all different directions. So I really tried to make a rich content that you can keep diving back into. That's why you have access to it for as long as you need to, because not only has it lots of different alleyways you can go and have a look into, we keep updating those as well when we find new content, new resources, new books, new podcasts that you can link into. So the first 26 modules are the permaculture design course, a very substantial introduction to permaculture design. My background is in landscape architecture, environmental planning and design, and I have a master's in sustainability education, and I've taught as a lecturer in universities in food politics. So I really am quite strong on this, on bringing the rigour and the strength of the content and also the depth of knowledge. So that as an educator, it, this course is about training educators, that you go out with a really strong background and also a really strong network of community support. The teacher's course is 13 modules and then we have business modules and also reflective review modules as part of it. But these are the modules and I, I can send these to you in the follow-up email each week. Uh, A new module will land in your inbox or say your next module is available to you. Now, if you actually don't get to finish it in the week, it actually doesn't matter. Just wait until you're ready to open the next one. It is a blended course. So while it's online, it also encourages you to go out and get involved in your practical projects, whether it it could be on your balcony, in your backyard, down at your local school, in your community, wherever it might be that you feel like you have the capacity to go and try stuff out which is also why I like the extended spacious nature of of this program because it gives you the time to play and experiment. There's also lots of practical projects in terms of your design work and lots of live sessions that you can come. I'm on 
online several times a week doing various different sorts of live sessions and you're very welcome to come and join in on one or any of those if you're in the Permaculture Educators Program. They're all optional. You might think, oh, yeah, I'd like to join the design tutorial or the I'm really thinking about the business and I'm so I'll pick, I'll sort of dive into that. So there's just a huge amount of content and also lots of forums. Often people come forward and say, oh, I'd like to learn more about this. So we organise something around that. It's very um, driven by what the questions people have. Within the live sessions we have, as you can see here, we have design studios, which is where people present their design work. They get feedback. So someone's presenting, you get to practice being a design reviewer as well. So you get to ask good questions, you get to see what other people are doing, cherry pick all their good ideas, give them good feedback in doing your presentation. And we also have education labs, which is the similar, but sharing what you do in terms of designing your education program. Some people are designing for children. Some people are designing for universities. Some people are designing for workplaces. There's all different types of education programs. And this is something that I think I want to mention as well, is that being a permaculture teacher doesn't just mean teaching a permaculture design course or an intro course. We really work with you to help shape an education program that is going to actually meet the needs of your local community, build on your strengths, and actually be something that your community wants. So as well as that, lots of tutorials from business tutorials, design tutorials, education tutorials, all sorts of things. And we have this fabulous system called Hive, which all of the events are all there listed for you. So you can drop into that and go, oh, yeah, that's on. You can RSVP to it and you'll just get a reminder that comes up. And that way you can just pick and choose and make your own calendar of the events that you like and it's all laid out for you. If you miss any of the live events, we always record them. So you can just drop into these in the course content. And so once you join the course, say if you join the course today, you will see all the back content of all those resources there. So it builds every week. There's new content that keeps getting added. What are people saying about this course? Chrissy is one of our founding members of the course. And so she's saying the course structure is so well designed. The support, care and mentoring are incredible. And I've loved having the freedom to work at my own pace. So as I was saying before, I think that's a really important part that some people have been in the course for years, honestly, and they still haven't finished. But it doesn't matter because they're... The sort of going sidewards, starting a new enterprise or developing their place or coming up with new ideas. Some people have even finished the course and gone back to the start because they've moved place and they want to start again and, and do it differently. So it's all, all flexible in that way. This is Fleur. She said, your course makes my heart sing and it feels like I'm finally doing what I'm passionate about. The more I do it, the more it connects me with understanding of how everything works. And so there is so much content and so much exploration of different ideas and also lots of conversational space. So it gives us the chance to really find our tribe, find people that we like to talk with and really get to understand the different ideas together. And a mother and son team have joined the course together and she said, what a brilliant PDC and educators course, life affirming, positive and encouraging all the things we all need right now. And so Julie and her son, Sonny, have um, have graduated now and are still coming back and helping out as volunteers and helping to host different sessions. And Fleur has also graduated from the program, but still comes back continuously for joining in on all the Hive sessions and different discussions. So once you're part of the community, you can continue to come back as long as you want to come back. And we love having you there. Also, I want to mention about Sunny. So if you are interested in joining the course and have a, a young person in your life, a homeschooler, a schooler, an unschooler, whatever, they're welcome to join with you for free. So I'm just going to share a little video my name is Caitlin Worth and I'm originally from South Africa and now I'm living on the east coast of Australia in a place called Lennox Head. It's definitely shown me how beautiful it can be to bounce ideas of other people and to encourage, I think that's a big part of it, is just encouraging other people. I just really value how generous the resources are and how they link up to so many other ways of thinking. Um, it's not just like, this is permaculture and this is what you need to know. And it's in these lines, you know, just introduce me to so many different like thinkers and doers and feelers. And yeah, so I just, I really appreciate that. And then it's also really well put together. Like you've created the hive space, which is this great melting pot for everyone to get together and um you know cross-pollinate and 
Um, and then just the way that the course is, is outlined, you know, like it, it's self-paced, you can do it as and when you have time, but it's, it's the progression, the sort of like flow, see what excites you and then follow that down the wormhole. And like, you know, you're encouraged to bring your head and your heart and your hands into it. And there's so much opportunity to do all of those things. Like, like I just, I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm taking it. I would, I would say though, like maybe do it a bit faster than I've done it, but it helps me to feel like I am able to make a difference. And um, honestly, and the sense of just leaning into a community of like-minded, like-minded people um, has brought like a whole new dimension to my to my life, to my way of being, to my way of thinking. And I think if you are courageous enough to step into something, then it opens doorways for you into like new ways of being. It is an investment, but it's an investment in your growth and in terms of like not only knowledge, but in compassion building, community building, connection building, resilience building. And um, yeah, it's, the the benefits of doing this course are more than just theoretical. One of the things we try and do is develop partnerships. So Meliodora is the publishing house of David Holmgren and we partner directly with them to offer you discounted books and also be in touch with the with the publishers. So if you're interested, say for example, in writing a permaculture book or um, accessing content, we we help you to form a direct relationship and be in conversation about that. There's also different themes that kind of come up all the time. So there's been a whole series that happened uh, around permaculture with children. And so we've recorded those and we have wonderful guests from around the world bringing in different content around that. Some people have finished the course, uh, come up with different programs, and then they share that. So we have a number of courses popping up all around the world and so if you design a course that you'd like to share with the world, you can uh, bring it into the Permaculture Educators Program and we'll help you to share it out around the world too. Uh, and this hive mind that I mentioned before, with this people around the world, each year there's more people that come into it. And so this expanded group of, of knowledge holders. So for example, we have, um, this was one of the sessions that was run. There's some people who work with the New York City Council. They work with community gardens around conflict transformation. So they came and ran a session about how they do that. Other people have run sessions around mental health and wellness and just keeps going like that. When someone says, I've got something that I can offer in, and then it goes from there. So Hive is a place where we can chat, where we can have different forums. We share research. If someone finds a great event or a book or a podcast, they drop it into there. So it's us collectively, all of us, hundreds of us just looking out for content and sharing that. And also, like I said before, it's where we have the, the links to where you can find all our live events. Also within it, you can see there's a general feed. There's You can connect with other members here. There's the list of events. And then all the different courses have their different rooms and you can create your own posts in here. So it's a very interactive space. All the notices of events come in this little section up the top. And if someone wants to write to you directly, they can do that. And so it's a, a wonderful way. And you can, in your own profile, put forward all your different links and programs and so people get to know who you are and what you've got going on. This is a global permaculture accreditation system. We have people from all around the world. There's people on six continents. So in terms of finishing your permaculture design certificate course, there's three projects to do. One is first the site assessment, which is your site analysis, understanding, like observing the landscape, noticing what's going on, what are the flows, what are the reasons. So we give you clear checklists and processes of, of how to do that to get, know, get to know your place because only when you know your place well you're able to identify what are the key things that you need to design for and and how what are the parameters so then we start with a smaller design activity because you know we don't want to go to the big one to start with if design is new for you so we start with just the small zone one kitchen garden design first and then the full permaculture design is actually design the whole place that you have or the design for the area that you've identified so you get to look at all the different aspects of permaculture as a whole. Now, I've been teaching permaculture, as I said, for many decades. And 
When I was teaching them as face-to-face two-week courses, we had group design processes and that was really fun. But what I noticed was that because you're working in a group, you didn't get to do all the pieces. Whereas what I noticed here, the quality of the design work that people are doing here is phenomenal. They're really diving deeply. They're really understanding all the dimensions. And I think this is important. If you're wanting to actually become a design consultant, if you're wanting to become a design teacher, that this depth of knowledge is really, really valuable. And as, and two, because of my background in landscape architecture and environmental planning, I can really help to, to coach you in that. Once you finish those three, then you get your permaculture design certificate. And the final three projects are for your permaculture teacher certificate. And essentially what that is, is to put forward a bit of a plan about what you think you'd like to design your permaculture program around. And we'll give you some input and feedback on that. Actually develop up your lesson plans, your structures, your goals, really map it out beautifully, then go and deliver a part of it. Now, if you don't have somewhere to deliver it, you can come and deliver it to us as a way of of having an experiment with that. But we really do try and encourage you to try and design something that's going to work where you are and uh, just start, begin it now and then review that and reflect that, get feedback from your participants so you can start with a small group. So essentially what you can see by the time you finish the course, you've got a beautiful design for your place and a program that's already up and running. So I just want to just scan through a couple of the examples of designs that people have done. So these are people who've maybe not ever done any design drawing before. So looking at these are some of the base plans that people create And we we really do encourage people to use pencil and pen and tracing paper because it really does connect you when you've got the pencil in your hand rather than trying to design on the computers. If you want to digitize it later, that's fine. But the design process that we do is just with a piece of paper. That means you can be anywhere, anytime, and you can start to sketch up your designs. Uh, So we really show you how to get your base plans, your contours, how to, to map, do scales, get your north points, just start to get the pattern of your site. So really looking at zones and sectors. So we begin very simply with bubble diagrams, so the flows of your site, the general areas, what the influences are. So this diagram is all about where's the sun and where's views and winds and storms and understanding that because that influences your design. So one of the key principles of permaculture is patterns to detail. And so we begin with this broad pattern of your site and then gradually move in to the details. And along the way, throw in lots of little design skills, design drawing, either workshops. We have a whole series of um, workshops with a with a friend of mine who's a landscape architect, engineer and uh, artist, and he comes in and helps us with drawing classes too, which is a whole lot of fun. And then people start to dive into the detail. So creating working drawings. So this becomes the beginning point for you to actually go out and design and put into practice the design that you're doing. And then even getting into close little niches. People, Some people go right into these every little niche of their place. There's this amazing artist who joined the course. Her name is Yul from South Korea. And so she started drawing her, all her designs in these beautiful artistic ways. And she's ended up writing a book based on this, which is absolutely phenomenal. So sometimes people do it by themselves and sometimes people do it as a group. This is a group from Happy Farm, which is Thich Nhat Hanh's farm in France. And together, they're a group of volunteers who designed the Happy Farm uh, farm to put the food into their learning center. And so this was one of the projects that they did as a collective project. Uh, And then there's people who were already professional designers. So this was done by an architect. He's now overlaid permaculture as a process that he, well, actually, in a way, he underpins his architectural work now with permaculture, begins with the permaculture thinking, and then starts to focus the the architectural framework within that. And he's now teaching permaculture to architects in university. And that's because of this process that he's gone through in the course. So you don't all have to draw, do drawings like this. This is a this is an architect's drawing. So I'm just going to share you another little chat. This is from another gentleman who did the course, uh, has graduated now, is an engineer, and he talks about the experience of, of doing it for himself. Embrace the course and open your mind to the community and the activities it offers. The value in the extracurricular activities are beyond belief. You might have a key objective in mind. I did. That's great. But the PEI environment and additional interactions that happened around the program are something incredible that you won't be expecting. It's highly likely your time with the Permaculture Education Institute 
will not only improve your gardening skill, it'll improve it out of proportion, but it also has the potential to change your life. In my case, it was an incredible light bulb moment and it's reshaped my future. We don't have enough time for that answer, but I'll, I'll give you the shorter version. At the gardening level, we've got a plan here for the entire property, and that's the first time in 25 years. At a professional level, the insight that came out of this course drove my conscience to go and do a Cambridge course in sustainability and circular economy. As a result, I've added a second job title and I'm heavily influencing the direction of the organisation's sustainability drive. None of this was even in my psyche before the PEI course. But most importantly, I've found my future direction and my calling for the second half of my life. I'm loving it. And so here's just a couple of before and after shots. So this was also your the beautiful artist work that I showed you before. This was when she just got a site and within a year later, um, and again, before and after, just one year later. So what we're finding is that because of the spaciousness of the course, it's deeply about the practice and the playing and putting, you know, putting in different designs, meeting up with different groups and trying to get things going. So our key focus, as I said, is teaching permaculture educators, both people who are just going out to the local community or doing something with your family, but also professional teachers. So creating community of practice there. Permaculture education can look like all different things. It could be through storytelling. It could be through writing books. It could be through making films. It could be through hosting a homestead where you invite people into your home and have an immersion experience. And so we really try and help you work out what it is that is your focus as a permaculture educator. And it may be many things, but how do you bring that all together, weave it together in a cohesive whole that you can offer and start to generate some income if that's what you're wanting to do or start to create a cohesive program for your community organisation? So the other thing that I think is really important, as well as having being spacious, there's no due dates for anything. So I've really tried to take the stress out of this program so that, you know, if you're really busy at work, it's designed so you can do it within two to three hours a week. You can definitely spend a lot more time if you want to, but it was it was that, the minimum of, of that, two, three hours. But even if you don't get that, because there's no due dates, because there's no, you're not going to run out, you can put it aside for a couple of weeks and then come back to it. Basically, the way that the program works is that there's a, either you can either sign up for one full payment or we do also have payment plans, also a 30-day money-back guarantee too. But we also have a fair share program meaning that there's scholarships to the Global South, the scholarships to youth, and there's also scholarships to refugees. And we have a lot of members of our program who come from all around the world. At the moment, what we're offering is that, that those two core courses that I mentioned and a whole lot of things that are all bundled in together. So this is for anyone who's starting the course for the month of January. This is Hive. Before it's been only available as a, a one-year membership, we now have lifetime membership This So that means that you join the course, you join the community, and you can stay as long as you like. And this is where all of those different live events happen and the communication. We also have a series of business modules of how to set up your permaculture business. And so that's included in the course. And I've added in um, just late last year, a whole series of live permaculture business tutorials to help getting your business up and running. We also have the permaculture gardening course, the incredible edible garden. You can see this sign here and each one of those little signs is one of the modules. So there's six core modules that are part of that and three bonus modules. As soon as you start the Permaculture Educators Program, you'll get access to this course as well. It's self-paced. You can work through it as fast and slow as you want. And again, yeah, your access never ends. We have a new program called the Share Permaculture Program, which I'm super excited about because a lot of the content in this course is things that are around it's like how to start a podcast how to do your own graphic design how to get your youtube up and running how to do a blog how to host an online event all these practical skills that are really helpful behind the scenes stuff for you to become a really good permaculture educator there's, there's these multiple dimensions of actually running a 
sophisticated and successful permaculture business. And these are part of that. So this program was uh, launched last year. Now this year, you'll be able to dive into it and just work your way through all the different modules at your own pace. So brought in a number of different people who are experts in public relations, in copy, website design, branding, all those things who have a permaculture heart. Because it's often hard to find those people who who have both the, the marketing and the permaculture So if you signed up for the Permaculture Educators Program, you also get 25% off any of these other programs that we run. So these are more intensive live mentoring programs. So this is the Permaculture Business Design Lab, which is a six-week intensive of how to focus on what is your business going to be, how are you going to get it running. So from ideation to launch, making a full and complete plan for that. Uh, And then we also have the Teach Permaculture Program, which is essentially the Permaculture Teachers program, but it is condensed into a short period of time to really amplify and accelerate your capacity to get out and be a permaculture educator. And if anyone's interested in just doing the standalone foundation course of the permaculture design certificate course, we also have that. So you can start that anytime and work the same kind of concept as all the things I've been talking about with all the hive and all of that, but it's just the design course, not all the teaching and the business part, just the design part. So that's available as well. And as I mentioned that with a fair share, so what we've aimed to do is, as well as inviting people to come into the course, what we've noticed that there's a lot of people who don't have access to internet or um, computers. So those who do, we support them to become the local leaders and community activists Uh, And so they then run local programs. So this is uh, a program in Kenya. There's programs all throughout Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania that we support directly and also Indigenous communities. So over the last year or so, we've been able to support these local leaders to share it out to another 1,500 East African young people, particularly young women. This has been phenomenal, the impact. So basically, we've been able to fund that through all of the donations that we get from events like our film clubs, our masterclasses. Whenever anyone donates to those events, we send 100% across to support these. And they're all done in local language with localised content, localised examples, but using the same permaculture principles and ideas and, and practices. So really supporting women to be stepping up as the educators and the leaders and these young women too have become quite recognized globally now through their work with the institute and with the ethos foundation have have won global prizes it's actually helping young women in refugee settlements to be able to get the possibilities to have an exit from a refugee camp because they're getting known they're getting their cvs together they're getting a possibility of having a future beyond being in a refugee camp some have been there for for such a long time, focusing on also creating food systems because in refugee camps particularly, uh, they're mostly eating one meal a day and they get about $3 a month from World Food Program, and which is just not enough. The more we discover about what's going on in the camps, the more it seems so important about supporting local regenerative food systems in the camps and really looking at focusing on supporting young people too for getting food for us happening and, and building in not just the head, heart and hands, but the hope as well. And that's something that's come through really strongly. Like I said before, we always give 100% whenever anyone donates to us. If you are a student at any of the courses, we have a number of different groups. So you can become a moderator of, of Hive or you can become a volunteer for Ethos. And then we do upskilling programs within that. So with the Ethos volunteers, we help to support program to how do you tell stories? So when stories from the camps come in, uh, how do you write those stories up to be able to share them better? When you learn those skills that are related to here, it's also something you can take away and apply to your own business or your own community organization. So other regular events that we run, you can find these all on our Permaculture Education Institute website. If you just click on the top, there's a little menu up there, drop down and you'll find all the links to all of the things that I've been talking about, the courses, the free resources, our not-for-profit. So we run um, free monthly online permaculture masterclasses. We run monthly permaculture film clubs. We're also, next month, we'll be hosting the Australian film premiere of this fantastic new film, Six Inches of Soil, which is a film that one of our members got 
involved in. So as she was studying permaculture, she was a PR person. She decided she wanted to do something with her PR that related to permaculture. So she volunteered to help this film. And now she's got a job as the PR people for this film. And um, because of these relationships, we've ended up being the organisation that's going to premiere it at National Sustainable Living Festival. There's lots of things going on all the time. And we invite people to come and help us do this because it's a great way to build up skills of, of how to get your message out into the world. So we partner with lots of different organisations. We partner with Sustain, which is an Australian food network to run Urban Agriculture Month. We connect with the Local Futures, which is a global organisation to run World Localisation month. Uh, we also we work with uh, people like Fritjof Capra, who's a leading systems thinker from the United States to run a, a youth program around systems thinking and permaculture. We'll be running a permaculture education summit, bringing together lots of different leaders and influencers. I hope you will all sign up for that. And of course, there's the weekly podcast that you can dive in and listen to all different dimensions of, of permaculture from around the world. Uh, and that's available at Sense Making the Changing World or from our website too. You can just drop down the menu and find podcast and you'll find all the links to that there. And of course, the YouTube channel. So hundreds of practical permaculture films available there through our program called Our Permaculture Life, which is very much about the home-based permaculture. Uh, so I hope you can see we're trying to sort of have all different dimensions of permaculture covered. And there's many different ways in which you can get involved in many different places that you can find. So just to let you know what's on offer this month in terms of joining the course. So we've bundled a whole lot of things together. So there's the permaculture design certificate, which when it's sold separately, it's almost $2,000. And I just wanted to, to compare that with if you do a two week course on the ground somewhere with leading teachers, I've seen them for two and a half to $3,000. And that's not including food or accommodations. So just the permaculture design certificate course and lifetime access to that for $2,000. The permaculture teacher certificate um, woven together. We also offer it separately for $1,697, but these who are bundled together here. And then as well as this, we have the Hive membership, which is now this year, 997 a year because we have over 80 events and I think it's getting close to 100 now, live sessions and tutorials in there. So this is a really rich part of the course. You get the course content, but there's also all of this growing live content that is helping to address questions and bring in that, the mentoring side of it. So and also finding a community to a, like a global global learning community and regional learning communities that you can touch base with. Share permaculture so you get access to all of those together. So that's the self-paced permaculture marketing course, which is, I think, part of the key thing that's going to help you get your permaculture business out there in the world. Also permaculture business modules, which is the how do you develop up your permaculture business structure and um, the incredible edible garden, which is the self-paced permaculture gardening course. So all of that together, when you add it all up, it's over $6,000. But the course bundle, which is the one Lifetime access is $2,997. So I'm not sure where you're all calling in from, but if pounds is your um, number, that's around 1,500 pounds. If euros is your thing, it's about 1,800. If you're from the United States, it's um, just under 2,000. And so that's, that means it's over $3,000 of free content. And just to remind you too, that there's lifetime access. It, like You can come and go as much as you like. So this bundle is available until the end of the month and I'm just offering a limited number of places for people to join in with all of that. If you have any questions, very welcome to email me. You should have my email from when you're signing up for this event. If you'd like to also organise like just a one-to-one -one chat, you really want to just talk to me about how it might meet your needs, we can um, use this to, to sign in and, and just find a time that works for you. Mm -hmm.